Hi, welcome to the Daily Aviation Channel. I'm Mark, and what you see here is not the U.S. President's Air Force One, but the E-4B NOAC, also known as the Doomsday Plane. The National Operations Airborne Center, E-4B, formerly known as the National Emergency Airborne Command Post, or NEACP, is the aircraft that the Air Force uses to transport the United States president during emergencies, and more precisely in case of a nuclear war. The four E-4s depend on the 1st Airborne Command and Control Squadron, 55th Wing, and are based in Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska. After the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, one of the biggest concerns of U.S. headquarters was to be able to respond to a nuclear attack by the Soviet Union. The Americans were convinced that the Communists would try to hit the centers of power and put critical military installations at top priority. It is with this in mind that Pentagon officials seek to have a plane large enough to carry a full staff for many hours in the sky. In the 1960s, U.S. defense already had some KC-135 tankers that it had converted into a flying command post. But these planes were not big enough and good enough for the U.S. Air Force. In 1971, the U.S. Air Force issued a tender for a new command aircraft with higher capabilities. Two manufacturers made their offer, Boeing with its 747-200B and Lockheed with its C-5A. Although the C-5 was already in service with the U.S. Air Force, it would be Boeing's proposal that would be retained. Apart from some elements such as the dome that houses part of the communication system, the E-4A looks like a civilian 747 externally. But its interior is mostly militarized. The E-4 is protected against electromagnetic pulses, or EMP, which can easily destroy electronic circuits. To be as protected as possible to radiation, it was necessary to turn the E-4B into a Faraday cage. The plane carries enough food to feed a crew of 112 members for a week without needing to land, while it can also be refueled in flight by a tanker aircraft. The fuel requirements of the aircraft are so high that it takes two fully loaded KC-135 tankers to refuel a single E-4B. One of the most important events of the Night Watch was the alert that one of them made over Europe during the fall of the Berlin Wall in November 1989. An E-4B then took over all NATO military bases and prepared for a possible attack from Moscow. The E-4B has fortunately never been used for its first role, reacting to a nuclear war. And although they are still used as warning stations, the E-4Bs now serve as a VIP transport for the U.S. Secretary of Defense or other cabinet members as they travel around the world. It is also used by U.S. emergency services in the event of a natural disaster, where it can serve as a local command post, operational as soon as it lands on the scene. You've reached the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you haven't done it yet, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free. You can also watch my other videos, and if you like my work, you can support me on Patreon to help me produce more content. Thanks, and stay tuned to the next video.